Hey everyone, this is Truveen, and in this episode, I am going to talk about Power Apps Card. This is the new concept which was rolled out during the Ignite 2022. So now, let's get started and explore what do we mean by card and how we can create this kind of beautiful adaptive card, and it is connected with the DataVerse. So here in this video, we are going to create one service rating card where people can rate the different services like for ambience, for food, and for different kind of services. And once they rate it, they click on simply submit, and that record is simply stored into DataVerse table. So how we can create this kind of adaptive card with Power Apps Card? Let's get started with that journey. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. So without further delay, let's get started. Over here, I am on my screen and I have opened make.powerapps.com. On the left navigation, you can see the card option over here. There are two different options over here, create and cards. Let's click on create. So first of all, let me explain you what do we mean by card. So Power Apps card are micro apps with enterprise data connected behind the scene. You can just provide that card to your end user and they can fill in the different interactive information over there and simply submit the data. And once the data is submitted, it is stored whatever the data source that you have configured in their card. At this moment, it is only supports Dataverse as a data source. But in upcoming future, we hope to have more data source with the card. So now let's get started with the card journey. To create the card, we will simply click on create card option from here. So here I am providing the name of the card as service rating YT and let's click on create. So this has created this beautiful card for us. Now let's explore the different design elements which are available as a part of card interface. So over here, this is the left navigation. Over here, similar like Power Apps, we have tree view. Over here, we can insert the different component. You can see these are the different display component, different input component and different layout component. Then we have an option to connect the different data sources over here. And over here, there is an option to create a new variable. Now, in this card, this is our first card. So we are going to make it very, very simple. So, but in other upcoming video, I am going to explain some other complex thing about the cards. So let's get started with the journey. So first of all, what we will do is from the tree view, let's select our main screen. And over here, there are different things over here. So now let's start to add different service rating card information over here. So let's say for an example, I would just want to provide some title here. So I'm just changing the title over here like this service rating. I just want to do some sort of formatting. I'm making it to center. Then I don't need this label. So I'm removing that. After that, I just want to add three different things like this ambience, food and service. So what I'll do is I will try to add different labels inside it. So I'm going to insert, go to the input and let's add the different labels over here. So text label, let's add that. Then I need the number input. Then I added the number input. Then again, text label, number input, text label and number input. So I added all the controls together. And now let's just provide the value of the different element. So let's say for an example, over here, if I go to the tree view, the first is text label one. So I change the text property as ambience and I also provide the control name as ambience. Then let's select the second element. So over here, let's provide the name as text as food. So I'm just providing here food. And same way, I'm just providing the same value in my this column food, right? Then I have third text block. I just want to provide service. So let's provide the text value as service and let's change the control ID as service as well, right? And now what we need to do here is these are all my text box control, right? So over here, let's just rename this 
like let's say for an example this is input control so i just doing here input ambience rating same way i will select the another text input and provide the proper name as food rating this is optional but i don't like the a uh, default name that's why i'm changing it but it's up to you so i change the name of all the controls over here now we need the submit button as well so let's go to the insert and let's just add one button control so i'm adding one button control and let's just provide the name here first so i just need here as submit now i want to store all this information into my dataverse card so what i'm going to do here is i have created one dataverse table so here i have created one service rating table over here and we have the different columns over here now i'm going to connect this table into my power apps card so let me go to the data section click on add data over here at this moment we have only microsoft dataverse so now let's select which one we want to use here so over here i am just clicking on okay for my connection and let's search for the table name here so service rating is a table which i want to use so let's select that and this table is connected successfully and when we connected this dataverse table this variable was automatically created now let's write a save function so we will just select the submit button and over here we need to click on on select and on select let's just use a function so over here we will use the collect function to save the data we can't use the patch function because patch as a new record we need to pass defaults and at this moment it is not supported so we will use collect function and we just simply need to provide the name of the data source so the data source name i'm just providing here the internal name of my dataverse table which is this one then we need to provide comma and we just need to provide uh, curly braces and all the properties that we want to pass there so let's say first i want to store the ambience so i will just use ambience and in ambience we will just need to provide this input so what is the id of this input which is ip ambience rating let's copy that and let's go here and let's just provide it so it is showing like this but it is showing you the error because we take the numeric input and here we need to provide the string so let's convert numeric to string using text function like this so it's done then let's press comma similar way we need to provide the food and for food same way the input property name is ip food rating let's copy its id let's go here let's provide text function and inside the text function let's just provide something like this and then uh, we will be having service and in service let's just provide text and inside text let's just provide this id service rating so let's just do this and we are all good and at last what we need to do here is uh, we need to provide the name property as well because in dataverse name is the primary column so let's say here in name i am just providing some static value at this moment for the testing but based on your requirement you can add some sort of card to take an input from the user as well so i am just providing here disha okay and now we are all done we have written our collect function successfully now what we need to do is it's time for testing so we will simply click on play option from here so let's just click on save and play so it will open the new tab for you and here you can see the preview and over here it is also showing the microsoft teams dark mode and light mode how it will look like so it is showing like this and over here we have the debug pen as well where we can see the different value that is available as a part of your card 
over here it is showing all your entire json this is the similar json we are basically using from teams adaptive card and information it is just showing you this values over here now let's just provide some sort of ambience rating so i am just providing ambience rating as 2 food rating as 5 and service rating as 5 and now i'm just clicking on submit button to taste the thing so let's click on that and let's see what happens so it saved successfully now let's check the dataverse table so i'm going here on my dataverse i'm refreshing this data so let's hit refresh button and let's see what we are getting here and here we are you can see that we just created this one of the data and these are the value which is being stored successfully now if you just want to share this uh, adaptive card inside your teams there is a send option you simply need to click on uh, this send and it is providing you this link and now you simply need to open your microsoft teams so what i'm going to do here is i'm just opening teams.microsoft.com and over here i'm going here i'm going to open some sort of teams over here and what i'll do here is i am just starting some new conversation here pasting the card and hit send so let me just click on send and it is just sending this adaptive card over here and this is something like when someone clicks on it and open up it will open the uh, same adaptive card interface and then they can just provide their inputs over there and it will appear and stores into dataverse so that's it for overall power apps card hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up click subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel and don't forget to follow me on my other social media handle like twitter instagram all the links are available on the channel cover right page if you are looking for any training or consultation always connect me on my website and let's work together with this this is Thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye